what we're going to demonstrate is our recommended way of assembling and plumbing in a freestanding bath with universal surround panel. The main components are bath, panel, feet assembly and panel brackets. There are three optional methods of filling the bath and these are one using a conventional two-hole bath filler with pop-up waste and overflow, two using a pair of deck mounted valves connecting to a cool fill bath pop-up waste and overflow. Here there is a spout built into the overflow. Three, using a wall mounted shower valve supplying mixed water to the cool fill spout waste assembly as in two. This can be thermostatic or manual valve control. The advantage of the thermostat is that it controls the temperature better. We are concentrating on this video in the conventional bath filler and pop-up waste combination. For the cool fill and deck valve combination, please see our accompanying video for the trend bath and surround panel. The first thing to do is unwrap the bath and make sure that you leave the protective film on the bath until the very end of the installation process. Lay a blanket onto the floor so that you can turn the bath upside down to fit the feet on. The foot assembly is basically a leg frame into which is fitted the foot bolt held in place by a locking nut. The black foot simply screws onto the foot bolt and is also locked in place with a locking nut. The height of the bath can be adjusted by extending the bolt into the frame. Having assembled the leg frame it is now secured to the bath in the templated position using 20mm screws supplied. Please do not use longer screws because you will damage the bath. Having secured the frames, we move on to the next stage. Placing a straight edge on the feet, set the feet to the height for the panel as in the instructions. In this case we have 546mm from the underside rim of the bath to the bottom of the feet. With this achieved, we can tighten all the lock nuts up and makes the whole assembly rigid. Whilst the bath is upturned and presenting the rebated timber blocks secured to the bath, we have sprung metal clips which must be screwed to these blocks. The reason for this is the panel surround will fit up into that rebate and the sprung metal clips hold it there. It's best to fit these at this stage using again the 20mm screws supplied. Having fixed all of the clips to the wooden fixing blocks we can then move on to the next process. The next stage is to lift the panel into its final position and mark the floor for the panel fixing brackets. Also make sure the plumbing does not conflict with the panel bracing bars. It is important to avoid setting the brackets too close to the edge of the bracing bars of the panel. This will ease the final positioning of the bath. Now lift the panel out of the way and fix the brackets to the floor. We now need to drill the bath and fit the mixer and waste. Always use masking tape. Apply this where the mixer is to be fitted. Mark out the centre line of the bath and then 90mm either side of the centre line to give us 180mm of our mixer tails. We are now ready to drill the bath in the centre of the rim. Just drill the bath rim with a 32mm tank cutter. Having drilled through the bath safely, what we need to do is just peel the masking tape and protective cover back just around where we're going to mount the bath mixer so that we're not trapping it, making it difficult to remove when we finish plumbing. Secure the bath mixer to the rim. At this point it is advisable to raise the bath onto timber to allow space to make the final connections under the panel. We now move on to fitting the bath pop-up waste, which is a conventional waste and overflow tube. Having fitted the pop-up waste, we need to connect this to the bath waste in the floor and the supply pipes to the mixer. To assist in this, we can supply as an extra item a bath trap with flexible extension and flexible 3 quarter inch to 22 mm copper connectors. These incorporate isolating valves. Upon making these connections we can now proceed to a wet test on all pipework. 
Once satisfied there are no problems, we move on to positioning the bath fitted into the panel on the timbers. This entails disconnecting the waste and supplies at the floor level and reconnecting when the bath and panel are in place. Once again check for leaks and then we can lower the bath by removing the timbers. The bath is sitting comfortably on the floor now and we slide the bath into the brackets that retain the bath panel to the floor. All that's left to do is apply a silicone bead all the way along the joint between the panel and the floor. This secures the bath in its final position and the installation is completed with the removal of the protective film.